Hey church family, it's Regan. I hope that you have had a great weekend. We've we've just had a lot of fun these past couple weekends talking about Advent in action and us as a church coming together and going out together to go bless and to love other people here in the Advent season. Really excited and thankful that you have signed up and jumped in on uh, at least one of these different projects that you can see on the board. Um, but as we go out, you know, like our agenda is to, you know, fulfill the Great Commission by fulfilling the Great Commandment. God said to make disciples, and how do we do that? By loving God and loving other people. So that's what our only agenda is during Advent in Action. It's to go out and to love other people. It's to be a blessing to them. Our agenda here isn't to try to go out and, and get people to make a profession of faith. It's to go out and share the good news of the gospel with them. If it turns into some great spiritual conversations, that's awesome. But what we really want to do is love other people, bless other people, uh, get to know them, get to know their stories, get to know each other. As we go out, let's have fun getting to know each other as well. Um, but a couple things, would love to and just continue to encourage you to invite some other people. As you can see on our, on our Christmas tree that Kelly and Aaron uh, Vath have made, which is absolutely beautiful, um, we're over halfway there already. We want to fill up this whole light bulb with unique people from our church who are going to go out and share the good news of the gospel here uh, in Advent coming up on December 1st through the 24th. So what we would really love for you to do is now that you've committed to coming with us and tackling one of these projects and going out and loving people, <clears throat> we'd really love to encourage you to invite your neighbor. Who's someone in your neighborhood? Maybe someone that your kids play with or someone that lives just around the corner with you that uh, would love to do something like this, whether they're a person of faith or not. I've got several people in our neighborhood who um, I'm not sure how strong their faith commitment is, but I know that they would be interested in doing something fun like Christmas caroling or going and serving other people. So think about your neighborhoods. Who are the people who live right around you? Who are some of the people in your work spheres? People that um, you talk to every day. Uh, you know, an easy way to get into these conversations is to ask them about their weekend. Hey, how, how was your weekend? What'd you do? Sooner or later, if they're normal, decent people, they'll probably turn around and ask you how your weekend was. At that point, you have an easy opportunity to say, well, I did so-and-so, I cleaned the gutters, which is something that I did. Um, but then you can say, also, I went to church, and at church we're doing this really cool thing. Let me tell you about it. And so it's an easy opportunity to get into those type of conversations. So we could easily double or triple the amount of people um, headed out into Advent in action if we all simply just are uh, seeing the people right around us, inviting them into life with us. And that's what I really believe the, the, a big part of the, um, the Great Commission is, as we go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. It's as you are going. So it's in your normal daily life. How are we seeing other people and inviting them into our lives and into kingdom life. So I hope that you will have uh, just an amazing time jumping in on this, getting to know other people. Hopefully as you um, come to one of these or multiple of them, hopefully you get better connected with other people at our church as well. It's, it's so easy on a Sunday morning to slide in, worship, and then head back out the doors without ever having meaningful connections with other people. Hopefully you've had a meaningful connection with God each Sunday morning, but we know how easy it is to, to slip in and slip out. So this would be a great opportunity for a lot of different reasons. Have a great week. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. There are so many things to be thankful for, and that's why we go. You know, we go because we are so thankful to God for all that he's done in our lives, spiritually, physically. Um, the, uh, the blessings that God has given to us are off the charts. And so it's because we love God that we want to go love other people and uh, do life together. So can't wait to see you soon. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.